Yo guys what's up John is here and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can fix the dev error 5573 for Vanguard. Since Vanguard got released not a long time ago it is possible for the game to crash or to have errors especially at the beginning of the release. So in this video I'm going to show you three different things that you can try in order to avoid this error as much as possible as it is likely to happen almost like once every 10 games. So what you need to do first of all is to use the default battle pass skin. Yes, sometimes because of using like the extra content on, on uh, Vanguard, like the extra skins that you might have, this will cause the game to crash. So for now until the next update gets released, try to use the default operator skins. Second of all, if the crashing is not due to a problem from your PC not being strong enough or having difficulties handling the files, there might be an error in the installation files on your PC concerning Vanguard, so the fix is pretty simple. All you need to do is to go and open the Battle.net application. Once you open the Battle.net application, you will be prompted to select uh, a game. For example, I have Warzone, I have a Vanguard that I'm trying for free now. So on the, set, on the menu of Battle.net, you go ahead and select the game that you have. And then you click on options right next to the blue start button, or to play button. And then you click on scan and repair. This will allow you to scan and repair the files, the installation files of the game. And what you want to do is to go ahead and click begin scan and then wait for it to be done. Another thing you can do is try to up update your NVIDIA graphic card, your NVIDIA driver downloads in my case for example. So since I know I have NVIDIA, you might have another uh, type of graphic card. You go to the device manager on your PC and you check out what is your display, the display adapter. What is your NVIDIA card for example is the GeForce GTX 960M. So I go ahead and select in the menus the GeForce GTX 960M series and then for Windows 10 and then you click on search then it's going to prompt you to download a driver so all you need to do is to go ahead and download this drive and then run it on your PC this way you'll have the latest drivers I hope these methods work for you I'm going to try to find different fixes and thank you for watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time peace